See, being a war criminal runs in the bloodline, Leonardo. <laughs> My mom is just slightly less insane than I am, but she's insane in a different way. She's, uh... I realize I don't talk too much about my mom now that I think about it. I can tell you about my mom if you wish. Yeah! She's, uh, mad. Kinda. Mom collab when? I do not trust anyone in my family to come on stream ever. Mostly because I know they would dox me by accident and I don't want them to, ex to live with that guilt for something they don't really understand. But my mom... Okay, my mom is kind of crazy in the sense that she's very much... She very much enjoys things that are a bit dangerous. And she goes on adventures unprompted. You know what happens when VTubers introduce their moms to their audience? Yeah. And she is single. Woo! But my mom used to like take walks in the city she lived in. And the city she lived in had like lifts. And then sea. <laughs> and like it had like a bunch of rocks. And her walks stopped... It had the passageway on top of the cliff thingy. And then there was a... Uh, af outside of the path. You could kind of go into the rock area. And try to like... Climb around in the cliff. And she would do that. And come back home. I'm like, mom, you know that if you like misstep, you die. Literally. And she was like, it's okay. I survived. I was like, mom, that's actually legitimately concerning. Oh, why did I tell you guys? I'm waiting for just open the float floodgates. I thought you already knew! Wait, I thought you already knew! Both my mom and my dad are singles. <laughs> Funnily enough. I thought I'd mentioned this before. Maybe I only mentioned my dad being... Uh... <laughs> being single. So, yeah. Another reason I won't bring them on stream is because you guys are filthy! Average PT mom. Yeah, kinda. She sounds fun. She is fun in the sense that when my friends, when I was a bit younger, used to meet my mom, they would usually enjoy my mom's company better than mine. Mom has got it going on. So I stopped introducing my friends to my mom. And she knows that. So she would like, you know my friends would like me. And I was like, shut the fuck up, mom. I don't care. Hag maxers in chat will hag max. And this year, at the start of the year, she, um, she's been, like, hopping jobs. And she decided, for some reason, that the next thing she wanted to do, and she's over 50, I think. What age is she? I think she'll be turning 50 soon. This year, she kind of decided she wanted to go work on boats. Work on cruise ships. She was like, I can just work on a cruise ship. That's fine. So she took a course for that, like an online course, and then applied to places, and then skedaddle skedoodle, she was there. She was working on the boats. So she went on this like week or two week trip that was kind of insane, in which she, she was getting sent around in a bunch of different boats and eventually came back home. And I was like on my phone trying to help her because she's never gone on a plane and i was trying to guide her and i was buying her ticket like from home and she just i don't know how to explain this it was wild because like she got hired by a company to be a like a maid ish i don't know what the correct name for it steward this on a cruise ship but apparently they didn't hire her to be that on one ship she was supposed to fill in the holes for people missing so that's a painful job in which they make you travel from country to country to just stay one or two days in that cruise ship until the person that's supposed to be there comes back. And it's horrible. Horrible. She was It was only in Europe. But she was traveling from a bunch of different countries and it was a mess. And she's not an internet person. She does not know how to use the Google Translate and how to do the Google Maps. I do that for her. And she was somehow traveling from a place to another by plane, by bus, by everything to get to these places. And on like the last few days, she argued with the... She was like, hey, this is not what I signed up for. I signed up for another thing. And the guy running that boat was like, if you're not happy with the work, 
again. Like, actually really rude. And she said, okay, and fucked off. <laughs> Packed her shit, left without saying anything to anyone. <laughs> Got on a plane, came back home, sent an email like, I don't wanna... Uh, that place sucked, we're not working together. Anyway, pay me from the travels. Because they were not paying her for the travels. <laughs> yeah, she's... She's uh, she's a little bit wild. I was just like, okay, mom. <laughs> Whatever you say. She came back to her, her town. And now, every time I call her at a certain hour, it's a gamble of... I'm hung over and resting it. To... I'm outside with the girls and we're gonna drink. And I'm like, okay, mom, then I'll talk to you tomorrow if you're not hungover. <laughs> <laughs> Hence why I don't talk to her that often. I think she's doing like weddings and stuff. Like serving people at weddings. I actually like went to dinner with her like last week or something. Went to eat Chinese. And her, I was like, you know, with the experience you have, you could technically just open your own event planning thing instead of working for these horrible companies again. But allegedly you need to have like a degree for like planning stuff, which I didn't know. I think degrees are pointless a lot of times. Standing her ground. Oh, she's a very uh, headstrong person. <laughs> very headstrong person. And she gets out of anything. We have a word for it in Portuguese. That's one of those words you really can't translate. Uh, my Portuguese chads know what the word zenrascada <laughs> means. She's that. She gets out of any situation by herself. Would you say the girl fell is genetics? Yeah. Yeah, uh, no, wait, no, it's not. No, it's uh, the exact opposite. <laughs> I don't know how I came out like this. <laughs> she can probably, like, do a better job at not failing than me. Whew. She's a party mom. A little bit. A little bit of a party mom. There we go. She sounds like holding a firecracker with your hands. Yes. You understand? You understand that I am the person worrying for my parents at this point i'm the one who worries for my mom more <laughs> one time she came home while we were still living together drunk and i i had to tuck her to bed and then when i went back to the room to see how she was faring she was watching a channel called baby tv and i was like you know what sleep mom <laughs> out of all of lunali who would vibe with your mom the most Hmm. Maybe Alias? I think maybe either Alias or Yumi. She would get along with everyone, I think. 100%. I don't think anyone would not vibe with her. But I think Alias might be the one to vibe the most. Good factoid. Her dad was a priest. She was raised in a church school. <laughs> she is the least religious person I know. <laughs> 